bit of background for people uh, who uh, are the first time to this. Um, you know, we're one of the largest global paints and coatings companies, so we get asked a lot of questions about color. Color's integral to the category of paints. Uh, we get asked questions like, uh, what's the most popular color? Uh, what's going to be the trending color? And 14 years ago, we started to answer that second question. What's the trending color going to be? That's what Color Futures is. It's a look at what we think is coming up in the terms of the use of color. Now, that sounds like a simple thing, but we don't just pluck it out of the air. We have a particular process and a particular way of, uh, of doing that. And as uh, Rajiv suggested, that, in, uh, that involves a group of people called our Global Aesthetics Center. Now, while they're based in Amsterdam, it's a global group that takes input from across the whole of the world, and not just input from paints. Um, we include people who are involved in interior design, industrial design, fashion, and lots of other uh, parts of the world. And we, we go out and try and find what colors are trending. So we don't try and invent a trend. That's not what we do. We, 18 months prior to today, we start looking and saying, OK, what can we see coming up in terms of the use of color? Little trends that are starting and we see across different areas. Then we try and pick it up and say, why do we think that's happening? And when we decide finally on the color of the year and the palettes, then bring that to our consumers, bring that to our professional customers, especially architects and interior designers, as a form of inspiration. Because whatever color you use in the end is your choice, of course, and you choose what fits you. Our role is to bring inspiration and ideas to people. So that's what Color Futures uh, is all about. So 18 months ago, we went out to start looking to see what was happening. And we saw a particular color come up, or types of colors. Now, many of you will, will know that color can affect mood, right? That it can affect the way you feel. We also believe the opposite, that the colors that people pick sometimes affect the way they're feeling or about the mood in society. So when we do color futures, it's about a color, but it's also about a story, a story of the way people are feeling uh, about their lives. And when we went out this time, what we found was people reaching back. Life's a bit complicated at the minute. If you look at many things that are happening in the world, economically, politically, technologically, you find people thinking this is a bit of a confusing, uh, fast-paced world. And one reaction to that is to then try and step back and reach back and kind of simplify your life. And we found people saying, yeah, maybe I just want to step back a bit and grab onto something that's real and something that's meaningful. And that's the idea behind looking at life uh, in a new light. To say, I'm not trying to change my life, but let me look at it again and let me rediscover some of the things, sometimes ordinary things, you know, about our lives that makes it meaningful. And of course, yeah, that means family, that means friends, that means memories, that means nature, that means many of the things that we're close to. In the end, the things that make life worth living. And that seemed to fit really well with us to the color that we saw. And the color that we saw was in the blue uh, area. So uh, it's called denim drift uh, as a color. You'll sometimes it, find it referred to as smoke gray in the, in the fan deck as well. And it is a kind of uh, bluey gray uh, kind of color and tone. And uh, why would that you know, link to the theme? Well, the color blue, first of all, it's a pretty popular color. I'm just looking around here. How many people here are wearing blue? Yeah, at least half the people in this room are probably wearing blue somewhere in their eyes. It's a very popular color, particularly uh, for men, actually, but also for, for ladies as well. And it's what you call an everyday color because it appears in many different parts of our lives when you look around. So it's a common color. But also, what are the associations? What does blue do to the body or do to the mind when you look at blue? It's a relaxing color generally relaxes people. And uh, also, it's a, it's a thoughtful color. It's a bit of an introspective color. Now, when people think, and you're trying to have a deep thought, what do most people do? Where do you look? Do you look down? Yeah, you look up, right? You look up at the sky. And if you weren't quite concentrating in school and you were daydreaming, where were you looking, right? You're looking up here, right? So, yes. so the association with blue is gazing into the sky quite often. And that's why it's also why it's relaxing on the eye, because you're, uh, you're on the horizon. Uh, also, the blue of the sea 
uh, C is a very meaningful blue. It has depth. It has meaning. It has all these things associated with it. So that, that's what blue, we feel, you know, brings us kind of cool introspection, thinking about life again in a new light. And particularly the light, the light blues is what we found uh, coming up. So blue is a great color. Uh, it is the color of life. It's the color of everyday life. We find it all around us, uh, in our clothes, in our homes, and in, in different places. Um, it is a color that, as I said, is soothing uh, and restful on the way that it works on the, on the mind, on the eyes, on the, uh, on the body. But it has this element of being crisp and fresh, not particularly boring as well, because of its association with the sky and the sea and with, uh, and with parts of nature. Now, what you're seeing here are images from our Color Futures materials. So well, the first palette that we have, and you'll see it in the materials, is the way to use different blues together. This is a tonal palette of blues. All of them involve denim drift, but we've paired it with other colors as well. Because Color Futures is also a tool. It's a tool for interior designers, for architects, for consumers to look at. And if they want to, they can use the palettes as they are, because they're all matched. Or they can use it as a form of inspiration to say, OK, I'll take this and I'll, and I'll go forwards. And we make this material freely available to, uh, uh, online uh, to everybody so that they can have inspiration from it. So when we look at used to way, uh, ways to use blue, uh, need to also make it interesting. It is an everyday color, so if you're not careful, it can get boring. Uh, so, but in simple, playful ways, it can be, uh, it can be chic, like you see here. And uh, it has this sense of uh, meaning for us because it, it is this everyday color which uh, pops up in many aspects of our lives. Now, the blue spectrum runs, of course, all the way from, from deep, dark blues, you might call uh, inky blues, like you see here, all the way through. We need to begin the journey of colors. Let's get ready, where we say, see life in the new light. <laughs> several different ways. So uh, Rajiv, what do you think, uh, what, do, what should people expect to see life in a new light like in 2017? Yes, Farhan, I think, um, you know, as Jeremy just alluded a while ago in the presentation, uh, even our experts think that this is the overriding trend for 2017. Mm -hmm. And hence, the denim drift is the color of the year for 2017. Uh, one of the things about denim uh, drift is the, the the color palette it offers. So it offers colors which has got a range starting from something like as uh, dark as indigo blue right. to something which is as light as a denim blue that we wear. So right. that's the beauty of the color. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it is like we said, it is the color of the year. Mm -hmm. So we look forward to really making this very large and bringing it into the lives of peoples and homes very soon. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Jeremy, I really, really like the theme of life in a new light. Um, and I personally believe that colors usually for me speak louder than words. 
Um, and this one specifically, I think, is really promising and very, very exciting. So I wanted to know, how do you see the Dulux color of the year, denim drift? How do you see it influencing us to see things in a new light? Thanks, Joel. I think, I think what's nice is everyone can take this one very personally, very quickly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because we all have different things that are special for yeah. us in our life. And so we see people, the, the minute the, the theme gets uh, explained, saying, yeah, okay, I think what I can do in my life to reach back to the things which are important to me. And the color just represents that really nicely yeah, in, in the way that it creates it. So we would expect and we hope that people will start to use it, I think not only in their rooms and their interiors, uh, but also in their clothes and yeah. other things as well. Actually, I have a bit of a denim fixation and... Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to say something really cheesy right now, but like how our hashtag is life in a new light. And if I incorporate it a bit more into my wardrobe, I think next year I'll, ha I'll have a hashtag Shraddha in a new light. And I understand you are a little bit influential in these things with all your followers. So I think they might copy I, I, you too, I, right? I'll, I'll try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it is. And, Fahad, yeah, right. as a very creative individual yourself, how do you feel about the color and, and what? Uh, well, I, I do like it very much. It is uh, something, a color that I'm very comfortable wearing. It, it is a color, color that really does uh, occupy the majority of my wardrobe. Um, it is something that I think it has an energy that's really reflected in our world in so many different ways. Um, it, it's a color that's a part of our life. It's a color that comforts us. Um, in, if we wear it, and I think probably even more when now when we have it on, uh, on our walls, uh, and as a part of our life to kind of just keep our mood uh, as calm as we, we like this color to be. Yeah. Um, also, apart from that, I think it's a, it's a very fun color. Mm. So, uh, was that also the intention? For yes, Farhan, I think yeah. that's true. I think the color is supposed to meant to be very versatile. It drives, you know, both personification of beauty and capturing the mood of the moment, as Jeremy alluded in the presentation. Right. It's quite timeless, and we believe that it's a color of life. Of course, it's also the color of the Indian cricket team. That's right. Yeah, so. Which is life for some people. <laughs> Which is life for a lot of people. Right? Right. So uh, with that, really, I think uh, mm. we, we really think that, hence, Denim Drift is very relevant in the country. Mm. And we believe in 2017, Denim Drift will make a lot of resonance in the markets with our brands mm. and really capture the mind and imagination and hope, hopefully also the homes of all the people right. with Dulux <laughs> as we go forward. Huh? Wonderful. Lovely. Okay. If we open the book. Sorry, I'm lost in my own word. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. Everybody on the other side. I think everyone just wants to capture the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now what we're going to do right now is the floor is open for questions. The members of the media, if you have a question, please put your hand up so that the mic is going to reach you. Well, just before you open the question, I think I'm going to open the floor. I'm going to ask Farhan and Shraddha together. Denim drift. What does the denim drift mean to you as of now? Uh, well, I think we touched upon it already uh, briefly. Um, I think denim really is... It's, it's a very important part, I think, of, every day, of our everyday life. Um, it is something that most of us feel comfortable wearing. Uh, I see many people here already wearing, wearing denim. And it's, it's, uh, it is, it's very comforting, it's very calming. Um, so I do imagine it being, if, if it's a part of your life, if it's a part of your house, if it's a part of the ambience that you live in, it, it will keep you relaxed, it will keep you comfortable, and it's very trendy. It's always uh, reinventing itself. So uh, I think it's a combination of many different things. It's a combination of everything. And how about you? I would like to ask you the same question as well. I think uh, a lot of people love the color denim, evidently because uh, they wear it so much and it's, 
it's such a common piece of clothing as well. And I think it's a very, in general, the color denim, I think it's very inviting, it's very, um, uh, it's a pleasant color. And I like the name as well, denim drift. So with drift, when you, when you hear of drift or drifting, there's a certain amount of, I think, a carefree kind of a feeling to it, which I like very much. All righty, super. Here goes, the floor's open. If you have a question, please make sure. Can a mic reach here? Can we have someone here? Yes, the mics are going to come to you, man. Hello. Yeah. Good evening to all. This is Raj from SpicyStarsMumbai.com. I'd like to ask Shraddha Kapoor, what is her favorite color and why? Which well, one is her favorite color? Definitely today, it's the color I'm wearing. It's denim drift. So I totally love it. Okay, thank you. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, question for Mr. Rajiv. Uh, blue is normally, as per the Indian Vastu, uh, not a compatible color when it comes to having it on the bedroom walls. Have you, as part of your research, already considered this trend, which is very much prevalent in Vastu? Yeah, I mean, uh, so, you know, the first thing that we do whenever we take a color, color palette is to first see the relevance of the color in the country. And uh, as much as I was surprised, uh, when we did uh, last year, the, you know, when we did the gold, uh, and we really thought that gold is meant for certain places that we go to, uh, you know, religious uh, places, etc. I was completely, we were taken aback by the research. The same thing has happened with blue. Uh, actually, it's the shades of blue that get used in different parts and it lends itself to the ambience of the room. And to that extent, you would be surprised. Uh, a lot of designs that are coming in, and if you saw the two commercials that we produced, you'd have seen the use of blue. Most in of it. them were actually in the living room area, so that's what was, I was actually waiting for something to be seen in the bedroom as a blue. That's why I asked you the question. So for that, I'll give you the copy of the color book. You would see the one which we've designed for the bedroom, where we've created the ambience to, you know, make sure that you feel it. It sort of lightens you and livens you up. No, right? But, uh, you'd see it in the color book. You would. It would be difficult for me to like show you no, the color. Seeing it in the color book is fine, but what I'm trying to get at is uh, as part of your research and pass, as part of the Indian mentality which is there, blue is never a favorite no, color. In blue a is an auspicious color. In the bedroom, no. Uh, I'm talking so, just about the bedroom. So I'll tell you the way we do yeah. it. Yeah. So the, when we do it, and you talked about Vastu and etc., you're right, we look at it. We look at the relevance of the color hmm. to people feeling it's auspicious or <laughs> uh, etc. And you'd be surprised that blue is a very important color. Now, I don't know how much the color blue has with other connotations, right? But today, when you say color blue, the first thing that comes to even housewives, you'd be surprised, is the fact that it's the very auspicious color because it's the color of our Indian cricket team. Super. And, uh, you know, I think most people feel that they don't want to say it's not auspicious because then you'd be sending millions of Indians into a frenzy. So they say, no, no, it's very uh, auspicious. We are happy to do it. Thank Our you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your question. Can we have any other? <coughs> there you go. Okay, I'm going to come to you. Hi. Uh, Shraddha ji, may... oh, this side, this side. This side. Oh, yes. 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 कभी आपको याद आता है जो आपके मूड बदले बदले आप दोनों के और उसके साथ दूसरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि नए साल में आपका रिजोल्यूशन क्या है दोनों ही बताइए सॉरी आप दोबारा पूछेंगे मैं पानी पीने हाँ पहला तो है कि रंग आपके जीवन में क्या बदलाव लाया कभी ऐसा हुआ जो रंग आपके मूड को बदल दिया ऐसा वो उसको शेयर करिए और दूसरा है कि नए साल में आपका रिजोल्यूशन क्या होगा Definitely, I think कि colors जो है जैसे मैंने कहा कि colors के थ्रू आप बहुत कुछ express कर सकते हैं अपने emotions express कर सकते हैं and definitely हर color के साथ कुछ ना कुछ तो जुड़ा हुआ होता है कभी कभी positive होता है कभी negative होता है और कुछ memories भी जुड़े रहती हैं उनके साथ तो I definitely feel कि कोई emotional connection भी हो सकता है colors के साथ और New Year resolution तो बिल्कुल नहीं है कोई क्योंकि मैं जब भी कोशिश करती हूँ रखने की मैं तोड़ देती हूँ तो thank you आपको same ही प्रश्न हाँ बिल्कुल मेरा ये मानना है कि रंग जो हैं वो एक तरह तरीके से संगीत की तरह हैं जो आपको मतलब कुछ चीजों की याद भी दिला सकते हैं और आपके मूड पर तो बहुत उनका प्रभाव होता है खास तौर से अगर आप चाहें 
तो वहाँ जिस तरह का के रंग लगे हैं दीवार पे या जिस तरह के फर्नीचर है इट डेफिनेटली हैज़ एन इफेक्ट ऑन योर स्टेट ऑफ माइंड और ये मतलब एक साइंस है खुद ब खुद जो लोगों ने किया है संगीत को लेकर अरूमास को लेकर कलर्स को लेकर कि किस तरह से इंसानों पर उसका एक इन्फ्लुंस होता है और जहाँ तक न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन का सवाल है मैं बिल्कुल श्रद्धा के साथ उसी के बोट में हूँ कि न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन मेरे ख्याल से अगर आपको कोई भी रेजोल्यूशन लेनी है तो डोंट वेट फॉर न्यू ईयर एवरी डे इज एज इम्पॉर्टेंट अ डे एज द नेक्स्ट सो प्लीज़ टेक अ रेजोल्यूशन लेकिन मैं इस न्यू ईयर रेजोल्यूशन की चीज़ में मैं बिल्कुल यकीन नहीं थैंक यू गुड आफ्टरनून सर माई क्वेश्चन टू यू मिस्टर राजीव there is a lot of things which are happening in a, uh, you know we go for environment friendly things you are claiming that water and weather resistant and where do you take the future of color and painting industry where in it comes to uh, handling with the weather changes the environment changes and also with that uh, without harming the environment so one day i request jeremy to give you the global perspective and then i'll give you the india perspective because that's how our strategy works right so jeremy would you... <coughs> we have to yes <coughs> Sustainability is about how we can do more with less. Yeah, ideally a lot more with a lot less. So, a paint that lasts longer, looks better for longer on the exterior, is doing more with less. Yeah, it's a very simple way to think about it. If we can get people to to use things for longer, then there's less energy, less resources used in that. At the same time, we've got to make sure that we create the product with the lowest possible resources in it as well. and that's some of the things that Rajiv was referring to uh, uh, earlier on. I think color has a role because of the way it affects human emotions and the way it makes us feel. So I might not go as far to say that we can make people happier, but we can certainly know that color changes mood and color is a really important part of uh, of the paint category. No, so I you know so from a sustainability pure impact of color it's difficult to describe because really of what color does to you because it's a mood lifter. Now let's look at what what's happening around us on color there are few things as all of you know some railway stations have opened and we've also started bidding for tenders to try and make cities beautiful i think uh, to me uh, concepts and i'm not getting into uh, you know uh, any political politics but concepts like keeping the country clean city clean being a part inspiring people to live with color india is a very beautiful country india has got a variety of color and i think the role that we see ourselves as dulux is how can we bring that into the lives of people and i always say this you know if you google and look at the world's 10 most beautiful cities of the world right there is a correlation between the most beautiful cities of the world and dulux dulux is a market leader in every city that's beautiful ask yourself what will it take for india to be beautiful i think it's just embracing dulux with your hearts and minds lovely do we have another question anyone else on the other side okay right here Hi, I'm from Surfaces Reporter. This is for Rajiv. Uh, Rajiv, how do, how exactly demonetization is impacting the paint industry? And continuing to that, what is your strategic plan for the near to medium term, looking at the low demand or uh, slump in the demand? So two things. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, firstly, it's very good for the economy in the medium long term. I think short term. See, when companies like us invest and do business in uh, India and all over the world, we don't look at just a weekly, monthly. We are here for the long term, right? So I think from a long term, it's a great thing, and I think we are committed, uh, like any good corporate, uh, in trying to do it. Uh, now, your second question is, how will you sort of address? I think the various things that we are trying to do, uh, we have to look at all the straddles uh, of the various touch points of people who buy paints. There is consumer, and really, from a consumer point. there could be a bit if at all a bit of a delay i don't see too much but yes a bit the second is the applicator which is the painter or the contractor and i think there we are trying to see how we can bring uh, the digital life into them so we've also started talking to various companies which are in the digital field to try and see how we can help them to try and do it and then thirdly is our teams where we've also try to help the teams to try and you know adopt a digital life right so these are the various things that we are doing to try and override it uh you know i always believe in life that we should not worry about short term bums you know in life i don't think there is any individual who's had a success similarly only a success right i mean it's it's a bit of a bumpy ride and i don't think one blip is going to really matter i think we are staying committed i think from the long term perspective all the stuff that i talked about innovations that we are bringing into the market right some of the best that we have borrowed from the region from the globe i think 
clearly shows you the sort of footprint that we are going to sort of look for in the country. All right, I think we're going to take one last question on the other side. Is there anyone? There you go. Thank you. Uh, so Farhan and uh, Shata, since you come from the Bollywood industry, uh, you guys are the public figure. Uh, but I think uh, you don't have uh, uh, the technical knowledge to speak about the colors, but still, uh, what's your idea of, uh, about the color of future Dulux and uh, it's, uh, it's a hashtag uh, uh, message that uh, life in a new color? Life in a new light. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, really, I mean, now uh, my association with Dulux has been, uh, has been quite long. I think it's been more than like three years now. Um, and I do admire their vision. I do admire their drive to try and, like Rajiv just mentioned, create a more beautiful environment for people to be able to exist in. I think that, that does take vision. It does take commitment. Um, and being from film, uh, we realize the value of aesthetic. We realize the value of a sensibility, a visual sensibility, of how colors play a role in creating mood, in creating uh, uh, environment, in creating um, uh, ambience within which characters can function. Um, you can see that in design in films that certain colors immediately kind of uh, denote to you what kind of mood this scene is gonna have or what kind of character we're gonna end up finding in this place that we're going into. It always does that. So it is an important part of what we do in filmmaking and in storytelling and in creating a visual medium for people to enjoy. Um, and to have somebody uh, like Dulux, who's so committed to constantly reinventing what is today's color, what will be future trends, uh, it's a great tool for us to have uh, as filmmakers and storytellers. All right, thank you for your questions. I think we are done with the questions. I would request uh, members of the media, if you want to click pictures, I think requesting all to please step forward. And we're going to have a picture session happening right here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to thank all our members of the media on behalf of Axe Nobel Dulux family for taking yes. our time and making this amazing location right here, the web, which we call it as uh, the Dulux Color of the Year. Denim Drift makes its mark right here, ladies and gentlemen, with the future. तो ड्यूलैक्स के साथ आई थिंक ये मेरा दूसरा साल है जो शुरू हुआ है पहला साल बहुत ही अच्छा रहा है इनके साथ हमारे कंट्री की लीडिंग का लीडिंग पेंट कंपनी है एंड इस साल अभी दोबारा हम आए हैं लास्ट ईयर भी मैं आई थी एंड इस साल नए कलर के साथ जो आज हमारा इवेंट है उसके बारे में है ड्यूलैक्स कलर ऑफ द ईयर व्हिच इज डेनिम ड्रिफ्ट जो मैंने पहन रखा है एक्चुअली मैं वो दोबारा लेना चाहूँगी ओके सो इट्स फाइन कैन आई से दैट अगेन या प्लीज कैन यू आस्क मी अगेन प्लीज थैंक यू 
या लेट्स गो तो अभी मेरा दूसरा साल है ड्यूलक्स के साथ दोबारा हम आए हैं टू इंट्रोड्यूस अगले साल का जो ड्यूलक्स कलर ऑफ द ईयर है उस उसे इंट्रोड्यूस करने सबको बुलाया है यहाँ पे एंड द कलर इज डेनिम ड्रिफ्ट जो मैंने एज यू कैन सी आई वॉन्ट इन माई जैकेट सो वीव कम फॉर दैट एंड ड्यूलक्स बहुत ही इनोवेटिव तरीके से हमेशा अपने नए कलर को इंट्रोड्यूस करते हैं सो आई थिंक दैट यू नो जो कंज्यूमर्स जो है वो जेन्यूनली बहुत इंटरेस्टेड हो जाते हैं कि क्या है नया कलर वट्स द न्यू कलर ऑफ द ईयर सॉरी मेरा आवाज़ जो है मेरी आवाज़ जो है वो बैठी हुई है बिकॉज आई हैव अ रियली बैड थ्रोट बट सो इट्स इट्स रियली नाइस जो एसोसिएशन है ड्यूलक्स के ड्यूलक्स के साथ बहुत ही स्पेशल है मेरा एसोसिएशन एंड आई होप कि इट्स फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम मेरा कलर ऑफ द ईयर डेफिनेटली है जो ड्यूलक्स का कलर है एंड डेनिम की बहुत शौकीन हूँ मैं बहुत सारे जीन्स हैं मेरे कबर्ड में एंड मुझे ब्लू कलर भी बहुत पसंद है ओके जानवर ट्रेलर पोस्टर जो है वो आ गया है लोगों को काफ़ी पसंद भी आ रहा है उसमें लिखा हुआ एक लाइन है फिगर आउट कर लेंगे इसका क्या रीज़न है सो वो आप जब ट्रेलर देखेंगे आपको पता चलेगा आई थिंक मो पर जो हमारी जनरेशन है जो करंट जब आपका रिलेशनशिप जो होता है कभी कभी आपको पता नहीं है उसका क्या लेबल क्या देना चाहिए तो आप कह, कहते हैं कि फिगर आउट कर लेंगे जो है देखा जाएगा फिगर आउट कर लेंगे वो भी आप जब ट्रेलर देखेंगे और फिल्म देखेंगे आपको पता चलेगा जब मैं छोटी थी और एक्चुअली मुझे हाँ जब मैं छोटी थी खास करके पर्पल कलर जो है मुझे इतना प्यार था उस कलर के साथ कि मैंने अपने अपना पूरा रूम का जो नक्शा है बदल दिया वॉल्स मेरे पर्पल थे बेड शीट पर्पल थी ब्लैंकेट पर्पल थी कबर्ड्स पर्पल थे तो इतना ऑब्सेशन हो गया था उस कलर के साथ कि मेरा पूरा कमरा वो था पर्पल तो कलर्स जो है वो आप काफ़ी अटैच भी हो सकते हैं एक कलर के साथ कोई कोई लोग जो है वो प्रेफर करते हैं कि सिर्फ कुछ कलर्स पहने बाकी तो बाकी पहनते नहीं हैं तो आ, लेकिन मुझे कलर्स बहुत पसंद है हर टाइप के Um, जो जो एक रेनबो में कलर्स है मुझे सारे कलर्स पसंद है मैं किस कलर से अटैच्ड हूँ मेरा जो चाइल्डहुड स्पेशल कलर रहा है वो रहा है पर्पल सो so, मैं पर्पल आई थिंक पर्पल से अटैच्ड हूँ चलिए ओके जानो के लिए और कुछ कहना चाहेंगे आप दर्शकों से दर्शकों से ये कहना चाहूँगी कि हमारा ट्रेलर जो है वो जल्द ही आने वाला है एंड आई होप दैट एवरी वन लाइक्स इट फाइंड आउट कर लेंगे फाइंड आउट कर लीजिए थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो लॉन्ग यू एसोसिएटेड यू बिकम ब्रांड एम्बेसिडर हाउ लॉन्ग इट uh now it's been uh, just over 3 years okay. that we've been uh, very closely associated with dulux um and uh, yeah I'm, i mean i'm just i'm very happy with this association it's been very productive i would hope for them as it has been for me so what are the collection they're showing how is it well uh, they have this thing this which they unveil the the color of the year yeah. which is actually more like a future trend okay. you know what they see that will be um, uh, more a color of prominence in in the year to come so in 2017 Uh, and this year they've chosen uh, denim uh, as the color so it's not really just one color it's the whole range of denim which usually goes from like a dark blue yeah. down to a very light kind of blue um, and i'm very happy about it because i i love the color blue and i love being dressed in denim i'm sure you see me more often than not in jeans when i'm out and about so i feel very good about it yeah. so uh, when the shadda is associated with both you both are same at the portion or they uh, the shadda <coughs> come afterward sorry shadda baad mein aayi hai ya aap dono saath mein hi nahi mere khayal se uh, uh, mujhe uh, uh, mere association ko shayad ek saal ho chuka tha yeah. uh, when she came on board okay. so yeah i think it's 2 years now for her if i'm not mistaken so what what, what is your favorite uh, as you see in the collection Hmm. So, which one? Which one is your favorite? Uh, if we ask about the color, 
Well, um, I'm, like I just said, I think the color that they've chosen as the color of the year is is really something that I I do like very much. Yeah. Uh, the color blue uh, and various shades of blue that are involved in in denim. So I I do feel very good that the the choice that's been made, I think is a very suitable choice, very apt choice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what tips you will give to youngster in the if we talk about the fashions in hmm. the cold seasons? Uh, यार अब मैं क्या टिप दूँ लोगों को uh, अगर आपको सर्दी लग रही है तो प्लीज़ बाई समथिंग वॉम अगर आपको सर्दी नहीं लग रही है दैन ड्रेस द वे यू वॉन्ट बट आई थिंक मेरे ख्याल से हर इंसान का मतलब एक अपना स्टाइल होता है yeah. एक अपना अंदाज होता है जो एक अच्छी बात है बिकॉज दैट्स वॉन्ट मेक्स एस इंडिविजुअल्स मैन दैट्स नाइस बट इट्स ऑल्सो नाइस दैट वी हैव पीपल वेद इट्स इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फैशन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ 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 इंटीरियर डिजाइनिंग um and people like dulux you know who give us an indication of what is trendy and what is what is in and out you know so that's always nice to have his information and then of course you should do as you as you please so uh, what's your heads on nowadays if we talk about the projects um is waqt to zyada tar rais pe focus ho raha hai wo release hone wali hai 25 january ko to us par ek zyada focus hai aur ek film jo main shuru kar raha hu january 10th ko lucknow central so those are the two films uh, so did you see in the trailer rais how is it I have I seen the trailer of Race? What question? What kind of question is this? Okay, asking? you are in the. Uh, sorry, sorry. I don't know. That's why. Get some brief first. Ah, yes. sorry. Okay, chali. Yes, I have seen the trailer of Race. It's mind blowing. I hope you've also seen it. Huh. Okay, so thank you for talking. Okay, thank you so much.